Hey, what's up everybody? Here's another water comparison video. Tonight we're comparing these two waters. First up is Noah's Spring Water. Next up is Blue Can Emergency Drinking Water. We're going to start off by comparing their pH levels. Alright, I just put these drops in the water and here is the pH levels. There's a chart here for you guys to compare. The Noah's Water claims to have a 8.4 pH level. And that looks pretty accurate to me. The blue can does not claim to have a pH level at all. Looks like a 6.0 to me. So what these two have in common is obviously they're both cans of water and they're both from California and they're both pretty expensive. The blue can water was $20 for a six pack on eBay. The Noah's spring water was $40 for a 12 pack on eBay. So they both average out to about $3 per can, which is pretty expensive, <laughs> $3 per can. And if you go to most grocery stores, you can get like a 24 pack of bottled water for three or $4. So $3 for a single can is pretty expensive. So the deal with the blue can water is it's emergency drinking water. Um, like preppers, people who prepare for emergency situations really like this water because most of the people who buy this probably like buy it the case shows up to their house and then they don't drink it they just stick it in their basement or an attic or just in some storage space just in case of an emergency um and, and some people make fun of preppers and like say that they're crazy and you know it's weird that they do that i, I wouldn't call them crazy um just look at like um that hurricane that hit Florida and, and the islands around Florida, a lot of those people were, were without water for several days, weeks, you know, months for some of them. Um, if, if those people had been prepared with, you know, cases of water, they would have been in a better situation than um, the people who were not. So, so I'm saying I don't think it's crazy to be prepared for several weeks of supplies, you know, several weeks of food and water um i do i do think some preppers are a little crazy pre who prepare for like years of supplies i think that's pretty nuts and excessive um you know the people who prepare for years of supplies are like preparing for a post-apocalyptic world where um you know just the world shuts down basically i think those people are kind of crazy and i think if you're preparing for several years of um, of prepping, I don't think this is the case, this is the way to go either. I think you'd be better off, you know, if you wanted years of supplies, getting a huge barrel, getting a huge drum of water instead of cans, and um, maybe having a system set up to collect rainwater into barrels. I think that would make a lot more sense than cans of water, and like. Are you going to shower with this too? Are you going to pour this on you and try to shower with this water too? Or even, even one of those life straws. I reviewed a life straw like a year ago and you can just suck up any kind of water, any like river water or lake water or anything. And that might make more sense than this. And it would take up a lot less space. Um, so anyway, I'm going to do a taste test comparison of these two waters and uh, decide which one I think tastes better. The Noah's water, Noah's spring water, has a resealable lid, which is kind of neat. The The unique thing about this lid, though, is that the threads, because it's an aluminum can, the threads on it are a lot bigger, so it you only have to twist it, like, maybe 15% around. Instead of, instead of a full rotation, you only twist it a tiny amount because the threads are a lot smaller. Um, but it, this is a neat bottle or can because... Um, they say that you can refill this and use it over and over again, you know, several times. That's what they uh, say. And Noah's water claims to have tons and tons of uh, magnesium. They say that they have 24 milligrams of magnesium per serving. And they say that's about 15 times higher than, you know, regular, just average water. So some of the health benefits of magnesium are magnesium boosts your energy magnesium 
fights depression. Magnesium lowers your blood pressure. Magnesium helps with PMS and uh, helps with diabetes and helps with, you know, magnesium helps with other health benefits too. Uh, this has a pH level of 8.4. The source is Patterson, California. And this bottling company started in 1930. 1936, I mean. The bottling company started off selling wine and beer. Noah's Spring Water has a plastic version and a glass version. And this is the canned version. When I first saw this bottle on Amazon and on the internet, I th thought it was going to be like a religious thing because it's called Noah's Water. And that is what their logo is. Their, their logo is Noah's Ark. And if you look above the UPC symbol, they also integrated uh, Noah's ship into the UPC symbol, which I think is neat. Um, so I was expecting their website to have a lot of religious stuff. I was expecting a lot of religious stuff on the on the can, but that, it's not really. It's just called Noah. That's just their, you know, their brand name. There's nothing religious or like anything like that about it. Because, um, you know, Noah from the Bible... The, the flood and stuff like that okay so I'm gonna do a taste test and see which one I think tastes better no smell to it I do taste some metal um I, I saw people on YouTube reviewing both of these, and they both said that it just tasted like water, but I picked up a little bit of taste of metal from that one. No smell for this. Yeah, I do pick up a metal taste for this also. I reviewed some canned waters in the past. Uh, canned water for kids was a still water. And obviously LaCroix and all the sparkling waters from cans. I, I don't taste the metal a flavor when I drink the sparkling waters. But I, I did for the, the canned water for kids and for this one. Maybe it's because my mouth is touching the can. Here, let's try. And I still pick up a slight, like, aluminum taste to it. There's definitely no smell. It's still perfectly drinkable. There's no, like, no bad aftertaste. I'm just saying there's a slight um, aluminum taste to it. The blue water, blue can water, they said that they're a supplier to... FEMA, NASA, and the U.S. Department of Homeland Security. I understand. I understand FEMA. Like, if there's a natural disaster, I understand FEMA having, you know, pallets of this water to give out to people. But I kind of wonder why NASA does. Why is NASA preparing for a shortage of water? That's kind of weird to me. For the blue can water, I was also surprised how high their Amazon rating was. 4.7 out of 5 on Amazon. That's really high. Because, I mean, if you're a millionaire, a couple cases of water is nothing to you. But to, to me personally, $20 for 6 cans is, is kind of expensive. It's a lot. Okay. Let me say, I think this is a cooler can. I think it's cool that you can reuse it and refill it. And you don't have to drink it all at once. You can drink, you know, a third of it and then close it and put this back in your backpack or something. I think it's cool it has the, the lid like that. I think this is also a better value because it's so much more water for the same price. But as far as the taste goes, the blue can water does taste better. It just has 
slightly less of the metallic aluminum taste to it. And I think the, the magnesium gives this like a slight, a very, very, very slight sweet taste to it. Um, but when you're drinking water, I think you just want a, a pure taste. And um, I think the blue can is the winner as far as the taste goes. So this was, this one's gonna move on to the next round. Congratulations, blue can. You're the winner.